Hey everyone, my name is Mr. Patrick and I am excited to be here with you to make some fun art. Today's assignment is create your dream birthday cake. Before we get started though, I want us to just take some big deep breaths. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna hit a chime. You're gonna hear it when you hear it. Breathe in and then breathe out. We'll do it three times and then we'll get going. Here we go. It is good just to take those big deep breaths. It's crazy sometimes what's going on us all being inside. I have my three kids here with me, but we are excited to do some art with you today. What would the cake look like? I have a few examples for you of other people's dream cakes. What will yours look like? Kindergarten and first grade, your constraint is to design your own dream birthday cake. When you're creating this assignment, if you have pencils, use your pencils. If you have crayons, use your crayons. There's no limit on the materials you can use, but you could easily do just with a pencil also. I did give you a few examples showing a pencil design and a crayon design. So as you get going today, decide what is your shape. Is it going to be a square birthday cake? Do you want to do a different type of design for a birthday cake. Um, you decide what that cake would look like and then begin your design. I chose to do a cylinder and to start a cylinder, just to teach you how to do that, I do a big curve, I do one line down on the side, I do another line down on the side, and then I do another curve at the bottom just to start with the bottom layer of the cake. I like to leave this part open, so if I wanted to start making my candles, I could do straight lines, straight lines, straight lines, straight lines, and then I do my little ellipses, curve, 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 and then curve the bottom too. So you decide how your cake is going to look, and then I hop, 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 and then it comes back together and it touches. I didn't light my candles yet, I didn't put my wicks on yet, because I wanna keep adding to all my details. Now, kindergarten, first grade, your job is to do a line pattern. You could decide, do I want to start by breaking up parts? Maybe this top's chocolate, maybe this part is going to be vanilla, Second grade, your constraint is to include at least two line patterns. From here, I'm gonna keep adding different details. Maybe I break it up with line patterns. Maybe I want to start adding some more line patterns. I'll jump a little bit. And so, you decide how you would like to add details to your cake. Don't have a floating cake. It's gonna kind of be floating a little bit. So put it on a table. You can design a table that it's sitting on. You could add some other food on the table. Maybe you want to put a big spoon that's gonna be on the table for you too to eat all that yummy cake up. Maybe you wanted to put some of your uh, prizes that you're going to get for your birthday. And so I'm taking my time to put all my birthday presents. Um, I could add some wrapping paper to it. Um, I could add a big bow that's on it. You decide what you would want to add on your table also. Third grade, your constraint is to include the number of the age you will be 
or include that many candles or items representing your age. I left the top open. I designed another layer cake. This is gonna be my ice cream cake just to show you all different types of ways. I love ice cream. So for this one, what I was gonna do is do my curvy, curvy. This is gonna be, oh, maybe it's even a cotton candy ice cream cake. But I'm gonna leave room at the top to put either my candles or my big number. Now my son celebrates his birthday tomorrow so I'm gonna do a big 11 on top. If I don't know how to do a block letter, sometimes I sketch light. Then I go around. And then I erase the middle. Now you have your number, but why stop there? You could even add your number and some birthday cakes and we'll light these. Put another birthday cake over here. Excuse me, another candle. And you can keep adding details. Maybe I want sprinkles. And so take your time, add as many details. Right now I have a floating ice cream cone cotton candy cake. So maybe I just, this time I wanna just put a table for it. Fourth grade, your constraint is to design multiple layers to the cake. It can be two layers, it could be three layers, it could be 10 layers, whatever your dream cake would be. An easy way to do it, I did my outside line, outside line, curve, curve, and all I'm gonna do is that same curve again, curve again, if I want a second layer, if I want a third layer, curve, curve, bring them together, and now I can bring my curves ellipses back to touch the next cake so it stacks them on top. I leave the top open so that way I have room to add the next detail soon. Fifth grade, your constraint is to design a theme. Are you going to have a superhero birthday cake? Is yours going to be a unicorn birthday cake? Is your birthday cake going to have money all over it that as you eat a piece of cake, you take a dollar bill and put it in your penny bank. You decide what is your dream cake. Fifth grade, your assignment is to add a theme. This was my Sonic birthday cake theme that I was going with. So I did my ellipsis like I usually did on some of my other parts, but then I put Sonic's head up top. I also included rings too. I included my lines. I had more than one line design pattern. I also practiced some shading too, so I can lightly fill, pressing harder with my pencil, and then lighter, lighting up. And sometimes I like to blend with just my pinky or a finger. It does give you a little bit of a blend on your finger, so you just kind of want to watch you don't smear other parts. So your job is to create a theme. This is a picture I did with pencil, but I also, if you're like, no, I have crayons at home, I really would rather color my design too. So here is my, uh, what I did. I included some thick lines, some thin lines, some thick lines, some thin lines. I included some line dot dot, line dot dot, and, and then I included his action lines because he is so fast. Be creative. Are you... You don't have to do a Sonic page. Maybe you wanted to do a unicorn page. Maybe I go back to my other cake that I added line patterns to, and maybe I'm going to add a big unicorn to the cake to turn it into the theme of a unicorn. Be creative, have fun. Do a silly cake, your dream cake, and just have a great time.